Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a very quick and brief Photoshop tutorial on how I kind of combine two images into one. So um, earlier today I did a little photo shoot where, with mirrors and I had the model um, do some poses holding mirrors and then also posing with the reflection in the mirror um, so that I could Photoshop that reflection into that first photo. So. Um, I kind of planned all of these shots beforehand knowing that I would be photoshopping them So now it's just time to put them together. So um, Here they are the two photos that I'm going to combine um, in my Lightroom library I've already edited them in light edited them in Lightroom with coloring and everything um, And quick little touch-ups now. It's just the main part in Photoshop to um, Combine them together. So this is the photo of his reflection that I'm going to select the inside of the mirror and then add it into the mirror in this one. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select each photo and right click and do edit in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna drag the background down here um, and create a copy of it just because I never wanna be editing the original photo. Um, so I'm going to zoom in and what I'm going to do is select the quick selection tool right here. It's going to give me a brush and you can change the brush size by going up here. Oh, not there. Right here. Um, changing the size or the short key for me is the bracket symbol on the keyboard. So um, I am going to go ahead and just select the inside of this mirror roughly and then I'm going to zoom in and kind of clean up the selection so it's more accurate. Okay, so now that I have the inside of the frame selected, what I'm going to do is literally just press the delete button, delete. And I know it doesn't look like anything happened, but that's just because I still have the background layer selected. If I hide that background layer, you can see that the inside of it is empty and transparent. So I'm gonna do Command D to deselect, so my little dancy ants go away. And now I'm going to go over here to the photo that I want to drag into that empty space. And I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm just gonna select it. But this time it does not have to be perfect around the edges like the other one did because the edges of this aren't really gonna be in it once I place it in that little placeholder. Um, so yeah, this is good. This is all you have to do, just select that. So then I'm gonna to go to the move tool right here. I'm gonna click and just drag it over to the window with the other image. So. It drags it in at the actual size that it is. So I'm going to place it over here. I'm gonna press Command T, which transforms. And then I'm gonna hold down the Option button to resize it while still keeping it proportional. So I'm gonna make it smaller so that it fits more accurately into this little hole. And I'm gonna press Enter when I've placed it the place that I want it to be at. So then I'm going to go over here, I'm gonna drag this layer underneath this one because it's going underneath it. Boom, there we go. Okay, there. So I'm actually gonna make it slightly bigger. And what is happening here with this edge? This edge is not looking good. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm going to take the eraser tool. Um, the hardness is good. And I'm just gonna erase the edge of this mirror right here because, yeah, that looks much better. Just clean it up a little bit. Boom, okay, that looks much better. Okay, so dude, that is it, we're done. That's literally it, that's all you have to do. It took me just a couple of minutes um, using the quick selection brush tool, deleting a layer, cleaning it up with the eraser, and boom, you're done. I think it looks pretty good. Um, the thing with doing things like this in Photoshop is when you're shooting, you have to make sure you're shooting so that it will look realistic when you superimpose them together. 
And then also I feel like sometimes you have to take a step away from the computer for a little bit and then come back and look at it and make sure that you did a good job. Um, at least for me, when I stare at a screen for too long when I'm editing, it all kind of just like looks the same. So I have to take a step back, come back and be like, okay, yeah, I did a good job. So that's always an important tip for Photoshopping. Um, but yeah, this was super simple and easy and brief. And I also just want to reiterate that there um, is a million different ways to do the same thing in Photoshop. So although I use the quick selection tool, you could have used the lasso tool and I just deleted the layer, deleted that part of the photo, but you could have done a clipping mask. Like there are many different ways to do the same thing in Photoshop. This is just what I chose to do because it was easy for me and quick. Um, but yeah, to each their own. So go ahead and leave a comment on this video. Let me know what else you want me to see, want to see me do while editing. Um, this is my first editing tutorial and it's in Photoshop, which I literally like never use unless it's to do something specifically like this. Um, I usually just stick to Lightroom when I'm editing. Um, so yeah, if you want to see me edit in Lightroom or Photoshop, anything specific, comment below and let me know. Um, if I can give you guys advice on how to do it, I will um, because yeah, this was fun. So thanks so much for watching and follow me on Instagram.